Hello and welcome to episode 20, the big two zero. As always, you should know by now we're going to start off the episode, um, or maybe you don't know if you're just joining us, uh, we start off by adding five members to the pumpkin army. I just took a look at the list and um, we might have to change the way we do this whole pumpkin army thing because... Uh, if I do five per episode in order of in the order you guys asked, then it's going to take roughly a month just to get through the second episode's worth of names. So we might have to change to a lottery after that, or maybe like a weekly contest thing. In any case, Private Caboose, welcome. I wonder if it's the Caboose from Red vs. Blue. That'd be fitting. Private, hmm, Alex, 2000-ish. Oh, it's 200. 2000-ish. They're not exactly sure when, uh, he wasn't sure when he was born. But it was around then. Sure. Uh, who do we got? Someone. Specifically, the Someone. 008. Welcome. Huh. <laughs> that kid. You know the one. That one. And finally. No three. Welcome, welcome you five to this growing army. Somebody suggested taking all of these to um, the snowy area and turning them into snow golems. Never done that before. Uh, I don't really want to move all of these pumpkins, but maybe that's something we're like ones in the future we can do that with. Second order of business, real quick. I'm gonna fill this in because it's super ugly. You get to watch and fast forward. All right, that wasn't too bad. Next up, we're gonna finish this side of this layer of the wall. I don't wanna do a whole layer, because one, I think, well, I kinda wanna relook at how to do the wall, just because, I don't know, it looks kinda ugly and plain. Maybe we could flare it up with some towers on the corners and stuff like that. In any case, I don't want to dedicate any more than two stacks to this thing because I have a uh, use for the other two stacks that I've got saved up. Okay, we have a nice level oof, wall. Next order of business. This is where we get to some of the good stuff. Um, you people wanted me to go to the nether, so that's where we're going to go. Not immediately, but we will go there. Now, I haven't actually gone in this building to scout it out, but I thought it'd be oddly fitting to put it in here in a church. So how about we do this? We dig a layer down. We are going to hell after all. Oh, right. Well, maybe this plan, not so good. So go through with it anyway, Rob. Do it. Okay. Um, it's too wide, if I recall correctly. So no matter how I cut it, I can't center this thing. Which 
which I guess is fine. So this is how I've always learned to do it. Is with the lava and water method because I never want to sit there and actually do it. Aha! Then you have your obsidian. Another obsidian. I've got plenty of buckets, so now I just need to find lava. Alright, so, what happened? Everything just faded and changed. Um, let me tell you what happened. I ran out of lava, and so I started going to look for more lava, thinking that'd just be a quick detour in the episode, and what ended up happening was, uh, like I died? Oh shoot, no way, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, guys, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Quick, we gotta get all that stuff. I spent a whole bunch of time doing nothing interesting. Um, basically, it was just a real bummer. And I knew that it would have taken away from what I wanted to do with the episode if I had kept that all in and I didn't want to run out over with the episode. So I figured I'd just cut to when I finally got some lava, which I did, as you can see. And uh, now we can go right back to the exciting part, which is getting ready to go to the nether. The only interesting thing that happened, which I don't know how future Rob is going to edit this, if he's going to show it or not, is I killed the Enderman. Look who it is. It's our buddy. We have to hit him in the legs and not look at him. Well, legs, you're hit. You're hit. Yes. Good job, team. He was running around, and I took your advice. Everybody gave me great advice, which was um, not to look at him and to instead aim at his feet and attack the feet. And that's exactly what I did. And it worked. So, thank you. Hmm. All right. So now we have everything we need from one of these guys. I think the cool idea would be to cover it up. There you go. No, no indication that there is a portal. Let's dig out all the sand we dropped in. All right. The final thing we need is um flint, which I do not have. So I'll have to go make but we've got everything else. Oh wait, I've got flint. Now I need steel. So I gotta go back up to the base. If only I could fast forward.
This is it, guys. Going to the nether. 20 episodes it took us to get here. Now let me say something. I haven't been here since well before 1.8. There's a lot of new stuff I hear. You've all mentioned some of it, but I, to me it's all arbitrary names. I don't know what these things are. Ready? Whoa! Um, so... I'm going to probably seem like a big noob, and that's fine. To the nether we go. Zip! Oh, I hope I don't spawn. Huh, that's funny. Alright, so I'm in the basement of hell, it seems. Some fire and... Well, nothing too exciting. Uh, last time I was here, I remember it being a lot more, uh, roomier. Like, big, wide, open spaces. Could it be that... Oh, okay, well, <laughs> like that. Big spaces like that. Oh my goodness, that is large. Now I need to figure out a way to get down. <coughs> well, this is not the way to get down. So, in case you were wondering. Oh my god. This is one place where I cannot dig straight down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nope, that's not the right way either. And here I was afraid I was underground. Um, what is that? Are those... Is that a structure? I gotta get over there. For some reason, knowing how this place is set up uh, now... Oh gosh, I remember these guys. Uh, really makes me feel a little more nervous. For one, I hope I can find my way back. Yes. Let's just... Uh, Let's dig. Nope, let's not dig. Oh, look at that! Oh, but it's so close! How do I get to that? I can just go... I guess... Well, I can't go straight. Okay, wow, we are really, like, just two levels away from oblivion. What if we just build a bridge? What about that? Just like this. Oh. This is gonna be crazy. I hear that thing, and I know the second we make clear out of this, it's gonna see us and scream. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, man! I love the nether! And I hate it at the same time. I need to find a way over there. I guess I could go up and over? Seems counterintuitive to be digging up, but this is a lot faster than if I were to just build a bridge across. At least this way I could work my way over. It seems I'm making progress, and then I could work my way down on the other side. I could go down here. Ooh, yeah, this might be a good, good way down. All right, let's start going down. Oh man, every time it's just like it seems like it's further away. Just 
trying at this point to see. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Well, at least we have a bunch of this stuff. I don't know what I'd do with it, but that's cool, I guess, right? What is that? What in the world is that thing? Oh, it flies. That's just amazing. Oh, no, no, no! I did not bring enough arrows. I don't think I brought enough courage, either. I mean, okay, worst case, I die. I'm not going to lose a whole lot. <gasps> Look at that! Nailed it! Okay, we got to get ready to run around. Who knows what I'll get shot at. This is cool! Kind of stuff can I? Whoop. All right. Well, I'm out of arrows. What is that thing? I killed it. I'd be an off, <laughs> be an awful um, diplomat. Cause my first solution is to. Wow solution everything. This is massive! Okay, we need to get ourselves back just so I could build a pathway of torches so I know how to get back. I see another one of those flamey things. Okay, this is obvious for that. And then I'll just do it at intersections. Um... I assume those things are hostile. That thing's definitely hostile. Make a run for it! Oh, and I'm on fire. Oh, this is... Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. This is hell. Oh my god, they throw fire? Alright, well, that was that was my my brief journey into the nether. I clicked so fast I didn't even realize I respawned. Um Daylight would be good. Alright, so that's this episode. Um in episode twenty one, I will work on the minecart track. To, uh, these mountaintops and down to the village. Maybe we'll work on the wall a little bit and we will gear up and go back to the nether because that was awesome. We have a whole place dug out now so I could easily get back to that um, like stronghold. It was almost like a it's like an underground hellish stronghold and we could go fight the fire sticks guys again. So uh, as always thanks for watching. Please uh, I know I've never really done this in the past but I uh, a little house cleaning if you like this please like and subscribe and you know give me a thumbs up uh, you know the more support I can see for this show the, you know the more I can do it and um, let me know what you think what you want to see and I'm definitely receptive to ideas let me know if you want your name in the pumpkin army I'm going to figure out a system that seems fair and reasonable uh, for getting people on pumpkins because doing it in order just clearly is going to take too long uh, stopping it doesn't seem like an option and uh, I don't want to do something where it's just a clear lottery because 
Well, that's kind of boring, right? And let me know what you think about the idea of doing a sort of streaming episode where Steve and I and maybe Ben would play in hardcore mode, hardcore, bleh, hardcore mode on a server. You know, we'd live stream it so you could watch, and we would try and beat Minecraft as a group uh, because it's an idea we're bouncing around, and it would be really fun to do. So. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you all on Monday for episode 21, where we defeat the nether. Later, guys.